Hello everyone, welcome back to my Pi Qt5 real life project series. In this video I'm presenting a Raspberry Pi. For more, more detailed uh, specifications you can see description. So uh, Raspberry Pi has four USB uh, 2.0 inputs, one Ethernet uh, input, audio video input, HDMI input uh, and micro USB for power supply. Then you also have a custom camera input from Raspberry Pi and you have extended 40 pin GPIO pins which are used to connect other components to your Raspberry Pi uh, through those pins which we will which I will explain in more detail in next episode so in the very bottom of Raspberry Pi you also have a SD card input which contains your files and your operating system as well which we'll be installing later in this video so next thing you will need is breadboard breadboard is used to connect your components sensors lights and other stuff with those wires to raspberry pi with those gpo pins which i mentioned before those wires can be like this one which is male on one on side and female on the other you also can have male on both or uh, female on both you will also need resistors which looks something like this. Those are used to reduce power from Raspberry Pi to, let's say, LED lights. So, LED lights is LED light is not destroyed if uh, Raspberry Pi provides too much power. Here we have some LED lights as well, which will be used to indicate uh, state of our software. Let's say you will see later on this series. So first thing we'll do is uh, install. Our operating system on our SD card. I have 32 gigabytes of SD card. You can have any SD card you want, but make sure it's at least 8 gigabytes of uh, its size. So you'll also need a converter, so you'll be able to load all the data to SD card. I'm using this USB converter, which allows me to put my SD card into this uh, converter, and then plug my USB converter into into the computer so I'm able to see it uh, SD cards content on the computer as you can see here so my computer recognize the SD card and now we have to format it so we will download a program called SD memory card formatter when you open it up you also need to agree with administration permissions and then you just pick your SD card you know, drive and click format you click yes here and your SD card is being formatted right here okay great our SD card is formatted now we can install our software go to Raspberry Pi official web page and click on operating systems and here you have noops we will be downloading noops Lite because it's uh, uh, smaller and do pretty much the same thing all you have to do with noops is uh, extract this zip file into the correct drive of SD card and this is pretty much it you have to do uh, so extract here and some fast forward and here are our files successfully on SD card so this is it for software installation you can plug your USB out and of course take your SD card and you can plug plug it into the Raspberry Pi so we'll be able to start our our um, operating system installation make sure that you uh, that you position it co correctly so it fit right in then you have to connect it to power supply but make sure that you connect it to HDMI cable to your monitor first because it can mess up with your resolution if you don't do this in this order then you can connect power and the Raspberry Pi will start to boot up on your computer make sure that you also connect your mouse or keyboard so you'll be able to control the, the whole installation so on the monitor you should see a rainbow thing something like that like this yes and the installation is starting for Raspbian at the beginning you'll need to wait to load itself it may take some minutes okay here I have a warning that I don't have internet connection 
I can press OK and then select a Wi-Fi if you have Wi-Fi on Raspberry Pi or else you can connect Ethernet cable to your Raspberry Pi and it will work as well. So here I can connect to Wi-Fi but I already connected to Ethernet cable. Here I will choose Raspbian as a recommended operating system and click install on top left corner and click OK here and our installation is getting started right now. So you'll have to wait depending on your uh, internet connection. I have it uh, actually really slow and I have to wait to, for like an hour or so. So after the installation is completed you will see a pop-up like this and click OK and your Raspberry Pi will restart itself. And then if everything went right you should be all set and Raspberry Pi is installed successfully. You can also do some updates but this is pretty much it and we will continue in next video.